Well, it looks like the next generation, next level e-bikes are with us. And tonight we'll be looking at the elements behind these bikes. It finally looks like we have our own e-bike world series in the pipeline. And Chris, what's this about e-bikes being bad for your health? All right, what then. a load of nonsense. Right, in the news this week, uh, blogger David Hembro from the Netherlands claims that e-biking is actually bad for your health. That's quite an interesting um, comment, but Definitely. basically, uh, I don't know where he gets his facts from, but ultimately, I suppose if you ride an e-bike in the city, then, you know, there's a lot of dangers involved in e-bikes mm -hmm. in the city. You know, there's, yeah. there's lots of deaths on, on bicycles full stop. But mm -hmm. to claim that e-bikes are bad for your health, I think, is a little bit kind of unfounded because mm -hmm. it's ultimately, as we've talked about many times on the show, it's up to the rider how much effort you put into your, into your pedaling, right? Exactly. He's basically saying that um, any rider that rides an e-bike isn't doing any work, is, you know, not pedaling hard yeah, yeah. and uh, negates if you are riding a standard bike, you know, that offset. And Yeah. And also, if you, if you think about it, if you, if you if you actually ride in in a city, that's probably less healthy for you than riding in the yeah. countryside in the first place. Exactly. So it all depends. There's so many variables involved in this <laughs> that yeah. you can't make that generalisation that e-bikes are bad for your health. No, and I think there's e-bikes and there's e-mountain biking, which is a total different, you know, uh, e-bike in the city, you pull it in around behind cars, mm -hmm. stop starting, whereas on e-mountain biking, as we all know, is big mountains, getting out there in the woods, working hard, pushing those pedals and going further. Do you know what? I'm actually looking forward to taking some city e-bikes to the mountains as well. I can't wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris, what's this about Sam Pilgrim up to his old tricks yeah, again? Yeah, Sam Pilgrim at Audi 9's uh, event, which is wrapped up this week. Um, can, you Sam's can you tell me what 9's means? I've no idea. It was nine nights before, but okay, then it right. was a different car manufacturer and it all changed, so God right. knows what that means. But yeah, Sam was out there competing on his e-bike against um, people on downhill bikes, slope style bikes, jump bikes. What was really cool was Sam landed two or three worlds first out there, including this. More world yeah, first. Front flip tuck on you two. which is really impressive. And he actually won ruler of the week. So he like ruled the whole event on his e-bike and his jump bike combined. Really? To beat all those guys. Well, I didn't know that. Real good and you know, well, press stuff from Sam. So oh. mix it out with all those boys first e-bike win at a major event as well that's yeah. another world first for him good work pilgrim a really cool video from Husqvarna this week in Erzberg what do these two guys have in common so that's really it? cool yeah yeah good mix of motocross and mountain bikes combined always yeah. good mix yeah um, it, I tell you what, it's been a busy old week in the news talking about Husqvarna uh, yeah. our friends out in Tahiti uh, Mehdi Gebrelages looks like he swapped from high bike over to Husqvarna quite recently and uh, there's some good footage of him and his mates uh, tearing down the volcanoes I out in the Super um, stuff. South Pacific. Where is Tahiti? No idea. Steve. I don't know. Geography look, it looks great down the climate. Looks great. I'd love to get out there ride on an e-bike one day. Cool. Where else we got in the news, Chris? Uh, what about uh, Wilkins and and Co mucking yeah. about on their new Focus bikes? Right. Really cool, like um, video where they've edited like swapping across from one to the e-bike to the flicking across, and yeah. it just shows you how capable that e-bike is as well. I tell you what, later on in the show, I did see a new Focus bike, which was mm -hmm. was it called the Gripper or something like Drifter. that? Drifter. 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 Let's, have look, let's have a look at that later on yeah. in the show. It looks pretty. Cool. Yeah. So there have been lots of action on the racing front this weekend and on the e-bikes. It seems that uh, high bike engineer Heike Radeka came second in the Enduro 1 series on the mm. weekend. I saw he swapped a load of stuff around on his bike, added a 29er front wheel, yeah. got, uh, took the 2 by system, added a one by on there, so all those little insider hacks. It's all about the strategy, Chris. Exactly. Yeah. Also on the racing front, we've got the Boogaloo race series going on out in the States. Big four race, class one e-bike series. And yeah. um, we've got the Mammoth Mountain there. Uh, yeah, Stage so it was week. North Star on the weekend, right? North Star at the weekend. So this is uh, like a Troy Lee Designs and Bosch collaboration. Some big sponsors in there. Yeah, it looks it is, really yeah. good fun. All uh, big uphill climbs, downhill sections. Are you, are you heading over to Mammoth this weekend, Chris? Unfortunately not. Are you over yeah. there or not? Uh, it's a bit weird, Mammoth, man. Is it? Yeah, it's really high up. It makes you dizzy. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, more race news is the big news, the biggest news this week. It seems that there's going to be an e-mountain bike World Series mm. heading. Now, it seems that the launch of this is going to be on October the 1st in Monaco. So we haven't really got many details on what exactly happening, but I'm hoping that it's going to be all continents, yeah, all classes. So yeah, it's just a holding uh, page at the minute, isn't it? It seems to be a holding page. Mm. So uh, and it look, looks like there's almost a gravel bike as the key image, but yeah. obviously it's not going to be a gravel series. It's mm. going to be a mountain bike series. Yeah, can't wait for that. 
from what I hear, all the um, a lot of the federations, some mm -hmm. big brands are involved. Well, so um, be the big it, step forward we're looking for then. It, well, it could be, yeah. So I, I'm definitely looking forward to going and doing some racing. Oh yeah, for sure. Like. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I wonder though, Chris, is it going to be you know Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, Africa, Asia? North America, Europe, worldwide, surely it's got to be right. If yeah. they call it a world, you know, yeah, world yeah. e-bike series, rounds at least every or yeah, I don't know, European. I'm, your guess is as good as mine on that, but so, looking forward to it. Yeah, and we'll find out more of that on October the first. So keep tuned. So Steve, isn't there even more important news we should be talking about, right? There's a big new bike come out. There is more important news. Sadly, Philip is leaving at the end of this oh, week. I did hear that. And. Um, Honestly, you know, it's been had a great some great times, and um, I think we Phil, need a little montage for this, don't we? Phil, surely? thanks, <laughs> thanks for thanks for putting up with me over the months. But um, hey, we'll have a couple of beers at the end of the week, right? Sure, I'd say it was easy. <laughs> 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 Moving on to more bike related Bigger, news. Come on, specialize, bike, bike related specialize news. New Levo, right? Right. Talk to me about it. Come on. What do you want to know, what, what what know, know, Christopher? I want to know: Is it better than the old Levo? Is it better than the old lever? Well, I mean, that's all relative, isn't it? If you think about it, there's some very basic things. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's thinner and it's lighter. Those right. are two, you know. So, How much lighter? Um, so basically, you're looking at 19 and a half kilos Whoa. for one of the S-Works bikes. But like yeah. visually, so the battery's now in the down tube. Mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't detach or anything. And yeah. that, if you look side on to the bike, it is so skinny, so slim. Really? It looks amazing. Hard, mm -hmm. to, hard to differentiate between the e-bike from yeah. a non-e-bike. Yeah. And... You know, you're asking, is it better? So, 700 watt hour battery. Bigger is battery. that better? For sure. More range. Well, I, yeah, it, it kind of is. I, I mm. like to do more riding, but maybe yeah. for some riders who go down for an hour, maybe it's not so good. But yeah. from, from my instead, 700 watt hours, it's massive. More is, yeah, definitely better from those bikes. Um, sizing, you know, there's better sizing on it. Right. So, you know, reach now for uh, extra large mm. riders up to sort of 485, I think. They've redone the motor, it's a different version of the motor. Yeah, the motor is lighter mm -hmm. and it's 20% it's more, 20% smaller. So that means that you know, the whole thing is visually more compact. More power. Um, they've got more power on it. And also, there's, it's it's not just about the motor and the batteries. How mm. the motor, the battery, and the controls operate together. How, right. how so remember, it's it might be a bros motor, mm. but it's the specialized have a, a, a behind the software mm. that gets the best right. out of that motor. And I think things like smart control, which you can use a mission control, and there's um there's an uplift. What's it called? It's called shuttle. There's a shuttle Shuffle. mode on it, right. right? So you basically hit shuttle mode. And it means it takes you to the hop top of the hill as quick as possible. Really? What? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, well, colours, so cool. it looks beautiful. Yeah. But Chris, I could rattle on all day about the new Specialized. It, it, is, it is, it's incredible. It's it an incredible it amazing, uh, bike. But look, don't listen to me. There's a, a video we just done on the channel. Oh, Check cool. it out down there. Right. Now with the launch of this new Specialized Levo, I guess it does beg the question is, are we at a stage where these are the next level, next generation e-bikes? Sure. You know, what there. you're going to realize is that these, these manufacturers now are working mm -hmm. on the next level of bikes in two years time, because I remember two years ago talking to Specialized mm -hmm. Moab, yeah. and they predicted this, this current bike mm -hmm. would be happening. So, but look, you're going to look at the last few years, there's been some great stuff, like yeah. the Focus, um, the Focus Jam with the thin down tube, it, you know, good. visually looks really good, yeah. even, even though the battery's mm -hmm. kind of small. Yeah. Then you've got the Merida, you've mm -hmm. got the, you've got the Moustache, yeah. bikes are really good componentry. And obviously moving um, forward towards this year, we have the Canyon with a different size wheel, that was mm. really progressive, obviously mm. that was super lightweight as well, yeah. that shaved quite a few kilos. But, all, but off, also, but... you know, that was the first ever direct sales e-bike, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, of course, it? that changed a hell of a lot as well. And then yeah. there's Eurobike. We all know what happened in Eurobike. Got the fly on introduced there, the new high bike, yeah. that big TQ motor as well. Yeah, 120 I mean, newton meters of torque. Yeah, again, that was a 700 watt hour battery as well. Yeah. I think that was, you know, one of the standout mm. bikes yeah. of the summer. Oh yeah. Sure. You know, and now we have the specialized. So where are we at with weight, do you think? Weight, obviously, for Zura come in with their new motor and battery system combined, shaved a lot of weight off those bikes. I think what was the lightest one we saw last year, the Bulls, mm -hmm. was 15.9 kilograms for a new yeah. bike with that for Zura motor. That's very light. So, obviously, the new Specialized Levo is 19 and a half kilos, but Chris, is lighter better? Is heavier better? What, what's your thoughts on that? I think we could maybe lose two, two kilos from where we are at the minute, but I wouldn't want to see like super lightweight back to where we are with the normal What do you reckon bikes? the optimum e-bike weight is? Mm, 22 kilos, something like that, I reckon. Hold on a minute. Two kilos lighter than where we are. 
Oh, no, hold on. The Specialized is 19 and a half kilos. What are you talking about? I don't know, honestly, I've, I'm <laughs> going to reserve judgments, not hit the trails on that. So it's not all about weight, Steve, is it? There's visuals as well. Well, there There's is. There's some ugly ducklings out there, come on. <laughs> well, you know, you look at the orange Alpine 6E, uh, yeah. fantastic geometry on that bike, but visually, no, it's not, you know, I think there's some, some way to good go looking, on that one. There are some good looking e-bikes out there, obviously, yeah. with all that hydroform and the technology yeah. of all that stuff. But let's talk about batteries. Battery, okay, so where we're at with batteries is mm -hmm. you've got, as you said, the Focus, 378 mm -hmm. watt-hour. Mm -hmm. You've got the Rocky Mountain, which is 680. Then you've got the new Specialized with 700 watt-hour, as, as well as the high bike too. Yeah. So there is a big range out there, mm -hmm. plus the Fazua. Yeah, the Fazio, obviously, we talked about that as well. That mm. all combined weight has slimmed down a hell of a lot. So, so basically, we've got you on, plus you've got the Lapierre with the snake system in it. It's getting crazy, isn't it? There's battery technology. Lots of options when it comes to batteries. Yeah. So, I think definitely we're getting there in terms of development. Let's talk about controls batch, uh, controls and software as well. What do you think about the yeah. advances on well, that? Well, Bosch has got a new Kiox. Yeah. Rocky Mountain have got a neater display. Yeah. Shimano have got a neater display. Up, I mean, yeah. you, you were telling me mm. about yeah, yeah. how you can fine tune that. Literally every bike out there is now sort of Bluetooth connectivity to it. Yeah. I was just out on a ride on my Canyon the other day, had a motor update before I left, installed it in about five minutes. So yeah. gone are the days where we have to go to a dealer to get that yeah. update. And I think bottom line, you can now actually choose to mm. go with uh, a display uh, orientated bike mm. or one with nothing at all exactly. like, like the Specialized Stealth, you can though. go totally sell so the choice is pretty much yours mm. so next generation next level e-bikes yeah it'd be really good to hear what you think that are the big advances in e-bike technology drop them in the comments below we'll see what's going on And if that's not enough tech for you, uh, check out this new colorway by Focus. It's the it's, it's the Drifter, sweet, right? Isn't it? Yeah, look at oh, the tan really? walls and stuff on that. That's the what? Like, the tan wall tires. Tan wall tires. Yeah. They look like gum wall tires. Tan they? wall. A oh, tan wall, right? Okay. It's a new score. Remember? I'm gonna get my tech right, I think. <laughs> But yeah, look, nice looking bike, right, Chris? It does look good, yeah, really good. I've got that tech option on there, obviously, for that bigger battery like we talked mm. about earlier. It's all about the paint job, though, right? Paint job and the, the gum walls, is it? Gum walls. That's right, Grandad. Now it's time for Climb of the Week. So you've got David here from Fort Murray, Alberta in Canada on his specialised, his wife's specialised hardtail as well, climbing up there, repping the GMBN jersey as well. Look at that mm. flying up that hill. Do you know Good what? Technique. Old David looks a little bit like Steve Pete on a bike, if you ask me. Does, you reckon? Yeah, totally. That, that, flying that, up that, there. That, 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 that poise. Style. Yeah, 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 yeah I totally. I can see what you're saying there, for yeah. sure. I reckon it's Steve Pete dressed up. <laughs> So it's time for where in the world. What have you got this week, Steve? I've got plastic globe, Chris. As always, let's give it a spin. Plastic globe. Where are we going? We are going to Santa Clarita in California and some evening action from Sam and his high bike, right? Now, Santa Clarita is, uh, that's, I think that's where there's a Trek R&D base, not far from there, but I've ridden in these hills mm -hmm. and it's where Sam Hill and Aaron Gwynn spent quite a bit, of, used to spend quite a bit of time. Um, winter training or something. Winter training, so uh, good. it's a hell of a spot. I mean, you mm -hmm. can't beat a bit of Californian action on an e-bike, can you? No, that red dirt. Yeah, it looks amazing. I know, it's a tough old place to ride out there. Mm, so, uh, nice and Sam, uh, send us in your surname next time and we'll get on uh, on the show. Uh, keep on sending in your um, images, your where in the world, mm -hmm. your keep climbs, on, your on descents, on any snippets. Uploads. Yeah, upload service, snippets. super easy to use. Details about that at the bottom of the screen as well. So get them coming in, we'll feature them on the show. All right, crew, it's time for a bit of ghetto tech. And this week, something that really sorts your life out. This is from Matt, right, boss? That's right, we got Matt sent this in. Obviously a problem with a lot of e-bikes is mounting that water bottle. But look what Matt has come up with on this. So what I've done is use these flexible clips to attach it to the frame. Big problem is the frame of this e-bop is really angular. So the thing wants to slip round all the time. So all I've done, two bits of high density foam, about 30 mil square ram them in and then tighten the clips up, perfect. Takes the shape of the frame and your bottle stays fixed to the top of the frame, ready for you to sort your life out with. It's looking good. I really like it. I really, really like this idea. I think it's a bit of uh, original thinking. I've never seen it before. Mm -hmm. And for me, it ticks all the right boxes, to be honest. Yeah, it does look pretty good. It just looks a bit too close to that stem to pull the bottle out, but... Bottom line, sorts your life out. It does. Chris, 
Let's not forget uh, to do a bit of shopping this week. Seems like you've got a bit of an old school top yeah, on there. Keep it get, get, some, to, get, some, get some fresh. Some new one, no. And I noticed there's some comments on last week's show. You did, uh, you've obviously found you found the eye. No, this, this is week. box fresh actually. Ah, oh, nice. Right. Yeah. Don't forget to check the shop out for um, all those winter bobble caps and bobble caps or whatever they're called. <laughs> Beanies, Granddad, Beanies. come on. <laughs> yeah, we've got a whole new range in there. It's these nice new T-shirts. got beanies, got hoodies, sweatshirts. What else we got? What we have got is the Bike Vault. Oh, let's get into it. <laughs> right, come on, Granddad, what have we got? we got Jeff sending this Rocky Mountain Altitude Power Play. He's from Hay Wigan. Not High Wigan. Not High Wigan. Let's start in uh, Lancashire then. No. Um, purchased my e-bike after watching your show since the start, so yeah. cheers to that. Right. Mono well, bike. That's got me thinking, where on earth, where this should be where in the world? Where in the world is Hay Wigan? It's a super nice, it's a great bike. It is nice. Can I just scoop some nice? Yeah, definitely. Move it on. Scott, uh, Scott. we've got Christian. Christian in the woods. Where is he? South Sand, Sand Village. Mm -hmm. Where's that then? Squirrel. 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 Squirrelly South S Sand Village. Scott. Again, some Scott brilliant sure. locations this week. It's got to be super nice, right? Loving that as well, yeah. Yes. Good. Ooh, oh, nice. gun walls. Look, look at the wall. gun walls. Look at the gun nice. walls. Wall. Track Powerfly 9, Finland. These look good. Just yeah. told me it's old super nice. He's had a super nice before, but he thinks you know this that? one is nice because he said in his description, but that is super nice. Yeah, I, really I, nice. I, I remember this bike, uh, Marco. Uh, look at those grips and, yeah, super nice, right? Get on it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, wow, nice Kinevo there from Brant on the rocks, Lord of the Squirrels loop. Where's about? I mean, come on, did you actually pick these out deliberately? No. Lord of the Squirrels loop. <laughs> really? Yeah. There's, there's only one way that's going. Super Fifth, nice. Fifteenth uh, ride of the season as well. Wow. As getting his Lord of the Squirrels loop. Philip, nice. what's your thoughts on that? Oh, I'd be sad to see you go, Phil. Do you know what I mean? So you got Daryl sent in his giant full E from Gypsum in Colorado. Yeah. New e-bike, 20 mile ride with 2,000. Gypsum. That's, I've seen that word. That's, that's where cement comes from, right? Ceilings, isn't it? Is oh, it's ceilings. Something okay, like that. Okay, right. Um, he's 70, colours. 73 years old and could not do this on his old mountain bike. So he's right. getting out there, 73 years old. Yeah. Daryl, like, you just be careful out in those hills. Right. Super nice. Super nice. Super nice. We've nice. got a record going on. Oh, yeah. your favourite. The yeah, orange, orange Alpine. Mm. Uh, the orange 6 e Contentious. 6 e or not? Yeah, Llyn Alwen Hill. Obviously, it's in Welsh territory. I'm not sure I can give that super nice. No? Just well, nice for that I'll, one? I'll be biased, won't I? Right, let's move on then. So, you've got this. I'm joking. <laughs> well, look at that. Down the S crash. Scott, uh, Scott Genius, oh. e ride. And um, from Nut. In Norway. Yeah. Knut. Knut. Knut so in Norway. Do you know what? The, I'm uh, loving the background of that, Chris. So I want a demo ride uh, as well. Down the so. crash. It's nice. You'll be down the crash soon, Phil. Picking, picking those kids up. That'll be you, Phil. Next week. Whoa. What are we giving that oh, one? Oh, that. Anyway? Yeah, yeah, nice. Super nice. nice. And this one, I mean, that's one of the nicest images I've seen on the bike for. Really? Dolomites yeah, uh, from big Thomas. Praise. Big praise there. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. You're spending your super nices this week, aren't you? All the way. Super nice. Whoa, got what, whoa, whoa. Martin Ashton would absolutely hit the ceiling if you saw all of that. Who's Piers. that from? From Piers, the man from High Bike himself. Piers, you're a bad man. Again, those bikes. And how bad. many got there? Six high bikes. Those are freshies, aren't they? All got the new fly-on uh, uh, motors in there as well. Chris. A quarry. Chris. Yeah. Where's our invite? Yeah, come on. Where's, where's, our, our, in, where's, where's our, our invite? Where's our invite? Bikes as where's well? our invite? Yeah, yeah. We want to come test these bikes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. We're at the bike fault. Hey, don't forget, there's loads of stuff on EMBN this week. Uh, if you've been living under a rock, there's always the specialised Levo, the 2019 Levo to look at down there. And if you want to check out me riding with my e-bike turned off, why are we doing that? <laughs> <laughs> to see how far we could go. It's a challenge, 100Ks to myself. Yeah. Let's um, get it right. It was the 100K challenge, yeah, yeah. not how far you can go. Exactly. So I had to uh, maximise that battery as far as I could, get those 100Ks in, which I did on an e-bike, so chuffed with that. But check that video out here. And don't okay. forget to give us a thumbs up, drop some comments on this week's show down below. But finally, can I say a big thanks to Phil for all his hard work yeah. and late nights over the last uh, five years on some the channel. Man behind the lens. And, um, yeah, thank you very see much, fellas. It's going to be sad to see you go. Will be. Crying already. Bye. <laughs>